Good afternoon. Terribly yeah. sorry about the long wait. I had a few things to sort through. Okay, let's begin. My name's Dr. Marcus. What's yours? Joe. Oh, Joe. It's very nice to meet you. Hmm. I'm going to be asking you a series of questions, if that's all right with you. Sure. Do you recall where you were born? Born, huh? Haven't really thought about it that much. Everything kind of blurs together. All right, what about a birth year? Even if I told you, you wouldn't care. Doesn't matter what I say, people tend to ignore me. Okay, thank you for the year. See? Go figure. Now for some simple questions. This will be like a rapid fire segment, so just answer with the first thing that comes to mind. What's your favourite colour? Mmm, 23. Favourite restaurant? Local dry cleaners. Did you ever have a family pet? Yeah. His name was Bill, and he was a 20 foot tall velociraptor. Alright, what about All your... Alright, that's enough. Oh, well. Seems we've come to the end of the rapid fire segment. Could have sworn I had more questions than that. Hmm. Memory's a fickle thing, isn't it? Indeed. You know what the worst part about all this is? I'm alone. No matter what I say, or do, or try, everybody acts like I'm not there. So I'm talking to myself every day. All because of some power that I was born with. Joe, I'm going to be straight with you. You possess a very interesting ability. It appears you're invulnerable to external harm, simply put. You can't be killed. Well, aren't you an observant one? You can 
see why they hired you. I was hoping you could fill in the blanks for us. Hey, Doc. If I knew that, I'd be dead. Believe me, I've been trying for a long time. Nobody on this planet could understand the pain that I feel. I walk around, I talk at people, wave in their faces, shove them, and they all just move on with their lives. And you know what? I could tell you anything. I could threaten you, insult you, and nothing would happen. I could walk out this room right now in the middle of this interview, take a gun from one of your guards and shoot myself, and nothing would happen. It's okay. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. How do you think it feels, huh? Oh, to have nothing you do be important. You could do anything and no one would care. Every night you go to sleep dreaming of the moment that someone will look you in the eyes and say, hello, I remember you. And then you wake up to the same empty planet. <laughs> Seems my nose is bleeding. Won't be a moment. My apologies. I don't uh, usually get nosebleeds. Sorry I punched you. I shouldn't have done that. You don't deserve this. You've done nothing wrong. All I want is someone. A friend. An acquaintance even. Of course. Anyways, I think that's all we need from you today. Do you have anything else you wish to say? When you go home, to your family, your wife, your kids, whatever you have, tell them you love them. Tell them they mean something to you. Because they'll actually listen. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. As always, our guards will take you back to your facility. They should be here in a moment.